Hello everyone, my name is Amit Chopra and I'm a developer advocate in the open source team at Facebook. One of the products I support as part of my role is Presto. Over the last few months, as I had an opportunity to interact with many members of the Presto community, the one common theme of question I kept hearing was around the desire to know more about the Presto Foundation, what the foundation is, what its benefits are, and how they could help their companies be part of the Presto Foundation if they so desire. So in this video today, I plan to cover some information mm -hmm. that you should find useful in this regard. I won't presume everyone watching this video is fully familiar with Presto. So let me give a very brief overview of what Presto is and perhaps a quick lesson in history to set more context. Presto is a distributed SQL query engine for running interactive queries against data sources that range from gigabytes to petabytes in size. Presto allows querying data where it lives, so the data you need to query could be sitting in Hive, Cassandra, a variety of relational databases, or even your proprietary data store. The real power of Presto also lies in the fact that a single Presto query can combine data from multiple data sources allowing for analytics across your entire organization. The origin of Presto at Facebook go back to year 2012. Facebook's infrastructure, as you can imagine, deals with extremely large volumes of data. The warehouse data was stored in large Hadoop HDFS-based clusters. Uh, Hadoop, MapReduce, and Hive are certainly well suited for large-scale reliable computation and optimized for overall system throughput. But as a but as our warehouse data started to grow to petabyte scale, the needs of the system evolved. It became evident that interactive system optimized for low query latency was much desired. This is when a group of engineers set out to solve this problem. They evaluated various external projects that existed at that time, but none really met their requirements for flexibility and the scale that they were looking. So they decided to build Presto a new interactive query system that could operate extremely fast, even at petabyte scale. Presto's adoption internally started in early 2013 when the first production system rolled out and very soon the entire company was using it. Presto was externally announced at the Analytics at WebScale conference in June 2013 and was open sourced in November 2013. Over the years, the product saw tremendous growth in usage and adoption, both internally and externally. And Presto also got a number of enhancements to its core technical stack, thanks to contribution from many external organizations. Late last year, uh, in September 2019, Facebook, along with three other companies, Twitter, Uber, and Alibaba, established the Presto Foundation, which is the nonprofit established to support the development and community process for the Presto open source project under the Linux Foundation. The Presto Foundation has an open and neutral governance model that enables Presto to scale and diversify its community and to enable more contributors to drive the future direction of the project. The Presto Foundation operates under a community governance model with representation from each of the founding members. With this evolution, Facebook, along with the other members, now collaborate with a broader ecosystem of users and contributors as one voice in the future of the foundation. The Presto Foundation has two main governing bodies, the Governing Board and the Technical Steering Committee. The Governing Board manages the Presto Foundation's funding in support of the Presto Open Source Project. Organizations become members and pay dues which the governing board then allocates towards relevant activities of the project. Premier members are also entitled to appoint a representative to the governing board and participate directly in these funding decisions. The Technical Steering Committee, on the other hand, manages the open source development process and is fully responsible for the technical oversight of the project. Because of the community governance model, TSC is open for any observer to participate. You can find details of when the TSC meetings are held, what they plan to discuss, notes from the past meetings, all are available on the project website. And any contributor to the open source project through time and experience may also be selected by their peers 
to become a voting member of the PSC. All information about the Presto project are available at the presto.db.io website. It has links to the GitHub repo for the project, documentation, technical blogs, information about the Slack channel, and all the information about the foundation's process and policy. Do check it out. So I hope in this very brief video, I help you understand and address some of your questions about the Presto Foundation. If you still have more questions about this, my contact details are in the description below. Please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. Thank you for watching.